What's going on, team? How we doing out there? Yes, I know, I know. It's a red light day. Red light day indeed. You gonna get that to red light? Let's go. Come on. Red light. It's red light district out here right now. The bears are out. Yeah, the bears are coming out right now. Definitely. Let's take a look at the action. We're down to three ninety two thirty, team. Don't think that a lot of team, uh, a lot of people were talking about this. We did get the turnaround today in the spy. Let's go through a little bit of that rundown outlook right here. You can see the spy coming down fast right now, three ninety two twenty eight. Let's go to the TLT. Uh, TLT actually up. This is interesting, team. Note that, right? TLT bonds are actually up right now, getting a little bit of a lift. TLT up there to one hundred eight fifties. Did the bonds bottom first? Something to just call out, right? Just keep an eye out what's going on out there. Let's go to USO. Let's take a look at that. I did see oil take a hit after popping up there to 82. Now down WTI to 79.12. Let's take a look at the dollar index. That's also important. That's actually up just slightly two cents at 102.41. We'll see if we can keep coming down on the dollar index. It's definitely important to catch that. And of course, uh, Bitcoin overall, I didn't even take a, a peek at Bitcoin. Let me just take a look right now. Now down to 20,769. It did get down all the way towards 20,477. Uh, so definitely you started to see that falling off the tape after it's been really strong as of late. We'll see what happens there. Bitcoin name starting to fall. Now, the question that I had for stock market movers, of course, was will the dash for trash come to an end? This morning, we were even looking at the dash for trash. Well, you guys can see it. Let's get into the action. Let's take a look there. It's SPY overall, now then 392. Let's take a look at the dash for trash trade today as that really started coming off the wagon today. We can take a look at that. Of course, Triple BY has been one of the stocks talked about often for this. You guys can see on the 15 minute, we just kind of fell off from this. Are we going to catch the dip here or is the trade completely done? I think the trade's done, but like always, you never know. Really, it's starting to pull back GME right there. Uh, AMC was able to make it to that 650s, but pulled back significantly today. We'll see what happens on a name like Carvana, right? Will this just be coming right back down after the January effect? So it looks to me like we did get a nice little push. We'll see if we ever get a nice little push in what you guys are talking about in the chat. I see you guys talking about that natural gas life. Let's take a look at UNG. Now down to 1062. This is why I didn't want to run in front of this natural gas trade. I know that it's oversold, but at the same time, it's now down to 998 on the pro shares. And you can see way below this action, right? Way below all that action as we're down there towards 997. We'll see what happens there in natural gas. I don't know. We'll see. UNG has a level around uh, eight. Let's see. Let's see. Can that one go back? Yeah, 891. That doesn't look at least bad. At least we have some levels on there. You guys can see I already had kind of these levels drawn out. Can we get back there closer to nine? Who knows? That's what it seems like to me. That's $8.91. If we can get back closer towards nine, maybe below 10, I'll start digging my toes a little bit into this UNG and natural gas trade. But let's go into what was hot today, of course. Um, we didn't get much hot today. Utilities trade finally falling off the wagon there. XLU, you guys can take a look at this. I was trying to get uh, Duke swing trading to the short side at the beginning of the year. I ended up stopping out at 105.60s. I wanted to hold to this 105.50. And on this day, I got stopped out on Duke. You guys can see we're already finally starting to crack. So maybe I might have been a little bit early there. Keep your eyes on that utility trade as it starts falling off the wagon. We'll look to see if it continues to this downside here, as you guys have seen, like an XL Energy. All these kind of look interesting to me towards the downside. We'll see what happens there. Um, even like a, a, a company like Southern Company, they got a little bit of a lift coming right back down, right? Dominion hasn't even gotten the pop. Looks like it's just weak. Looks like it's going to come right back down there. We'll see what happens on these utility names. Let's keep moving. Let's take a look at defensive names. Those pulled back significantly. Packaged foods 
KHC, definitely disaster stock of the day. Look at this. Really got hit hard here. Uh, this is also in the XLU. Um, if you guys, uh, the XLC, that would be consumer. Uh, XLC, so keep your eyes on that. We'll see what happens there. Uh, no, that's that's communication. What's the consumer one? Um, consumer is... There he goes. XLP. I don't know why they put it as P, but whatever. Uh, XLP. I knew I knew I was close there. So XLP, select consumer staples, taking a hard hit there. A lot of these stocks getting hit hard today. So watch out there, team. Uh, stock like CL, Colgate Palmolive, right down, right back down. Uh, Kraft Heinz, really getting hit hard. We'll see if this stops, but the leak is serious. It's back down there towards 39.83. Was this more of the value trade letting go and the growth trade letting go? That's one thing that we need to start thinking about, right? Well, one thing that I started doing is I took my swing trade in the industrials game, started seeing industrials break down a little bit. We've been knowing how deer has been strong and, you know, Dennis, I can't blame him. He's been looking for a turnaround in these names. It was strong, gave a little bit of a push like it wanted to go to 445. Now I'm starting to see the breakdown in these names. We'll see if these can continue to break down. Caterpillar even pulling back today. Picar, we'll see how those kind of break down. I took my swing trade in GE. We'll see how that one works out. Is this going to come back down to 76, 77 area? That's what I'll be looking at. We'll see if we actually get that pullback in General Electric. I took my shot off of the Honeywell chart that I started seeing this really break down. This one looks interesting. Honeywell breakdown. This could pull back significantly. This could get back there maybe about 50% of the recent move. 50% has this closer towards 198.97, that 200 range. We'll see what happened there. All right, ten, uh, top 10 shorts. MD bringing out some list out here. I can't blame you. Carvana, NVAX, Upstart, Rocket. Hmm, AMC, GME. Those are interesting lists. Can't blame you for that list, MD. The big thing that I saw also on that list, though, my only thing is I was trying to even get short some of these names, but when I went looking for them, right, a lot of these are hard to borrow. So uh, I don't like paying up too much for shares to short. So it was interesting there. We'll see what happens on these names as they come down and if the dash for trash is truly done. We'll see what happens there. Let's keep going. Um, let's get to UAL. UAL, of course, reported really great earnings. And this is what can happen, team. I know that a lot of people like to pay attention to earning stocks. And we expect earnings to kind of lead price action. But the truth is that even the best earnings, the best report, I had thought that the United Airlines report was a really good one. A beat on EPS a beat on sales, a beat on quarterly consolidated passenger load factors. So what does that mean? That means that they're filling up the planes more. A beat on adjusted guidance. Well, I wouldn't call it a beat, but a raise on guidance, forward looking, right, for the full year 23. A raise on Q1 adjusted EPS. Where Where is the downside? Well, that just goes to show us that the environment that we're in is so important when we're looking at these stocks, right? If we don't understand the current environment today, well, a lot of the times we can get caught on names like this because you can go in the morning, read that report, and just think upside action for the airlines. But then when you go and take a look, look how it opened up. Went right there, nice little pop right before the open. Boom, wash down, right back down. And so what does that show us? Well, it could just be a pullback opportunity, buy the dip opportunity. So we'll look to see if the buy the dippers can come in here. I'm looking to see if some of these gaps start to get filled. American Airlines has a bigger gap than, let's say, a UAL to fill. UAL only has this little small gap here to fill. But we'll see if we can start filling in some of these gaps and then looking for the bounce. Same thing for Delta. And we come back into this space, right? Can we come back into the gap zones and then finally catch some bids, get get going again? We'll see what happens there. Jets ETF also pulling back. We'll look to see if we get back into that gap zone between the 1950s and kind of this 926 area. We'll look for some pullbacks there. UNG is a disaster. Yes, Captain Kirk, it is. And 
I, I just don't think it's coming back anytime soon. All right, now let's keep going. We can take a look at some different stocks. Moderna had news this morning. Was going to take a look at this stock to see if it was going to get the next little pop here. Of course, this came after uh, vaccine efficacy. Uh, it passed its endpoints in phase three from the RSV vaccine. And you can see it got a little pop. It tried to get there towards the 207, now pulling back. At least what I'm liking here is that at least it's a measured pullback from yesterday's action. You can see how we're holding a right around the 50% retracement level. That's right around 197.40s. Maybe you're looking at it at 197.50s. Look for that to kind of hold tomorrow, then come back for that high. That's what I'll be looking for. But healthcare didn't have the best day. If you look at the major drug manufacturers, this is not looking good. Look at the, net, the last couple of days. We came down. I was thinking we were going to catch a little bit of a bounce. No, flush down there, team. Be careful out there. Some of these are really taking a hit today. We'll talk a little bit about those. Avvi coming towards a new low there that break, broke through that 150 today. Not a good look there. Pfizer got the downgrade earlier in the week. Now down to 44.99. Thought maybe we could catch around the 45.50. Already down there to 45. Lily pulling back fast. This one has been a nice run as of late. Will this start coming back down and breaking the trend? Merck, same thing. We'll see if the buy the dippers come in in the healthcare names, but not looking good right now. All right, let's keep going. Look at what else is out there. Netflix, Netflix being mentioned in the chat. We'll see what happens there. Let's go to Netflix. Yesterday was a tough day. Started pulling back today. Let's see what happened. Looks like we're kind of closing, kind of break even, not much on the upside. Of course, Netflix reports earnings tomorrow, team. Don't miss it. After the bell, we will go ahead and get into the earnings reaction. I got my man Nick Brown's going to join us and discuss what happened there in Netflix. And we'll have a special guest on that Netflix earnings reaction. Don't miss that if you're a big Netflix fan. Or you just want to see what happens to the earnings. Catch an analyst. See us tomorrow for the Netflix reaction, especially after the earnings come out after 4 p.m. We'll go ahead and have an interview with one of the best analysts, I'll say, for Netflix. Really keeps track of it. You guys might know him. He's on pre-market prep. We'll see if anybody guesses the name correctly as I'll go ahead and release that later today. Let's keep going. Let's take a look at what else is making moves in the markets. Of course, we can just go to the SPY to see if there was anything that was actually up today in the SPY. Of course, from the open is what I would want to be looking at because overall, I mean, you will find some stocks like Moderna had a good day overall. But if we wanted to take a look, we can go. JB Hutt Transport Services, that did get a little bit of a spike. Yeah, but I mean, it was just a spike right at the open, right? Not really giving you a chance to get in there. Ulta. Ulta Beauty, guys, remember when, remember when this one pulled back here towards 445, this one was my Christmas Santa Claus type of stock, and this has made a nice push now there towards a new 52-week high and continuing to push Ulta, one of the best-run companies in all of Wall Street, and you guys can see it continuing now to 500. What a nice move there for Ulta Beauty. Hope someone was able to capture that one. Pool getting a little bit of a lift today. That one doesn't look too bad. Qualcomm starting to climb the wall of worries. At least this one's interesting to actually end into the green. Of course, we have saw uh, some of these semiconducting stocks. Uh, they were strong, right? NVIDIA's move, right? Well, today it started pulling back. We'll see if these are able to actually buy the dip and bounce back. But they did fall off the tape today. AMD's one of those also was trying to get back up there towards the 73s. Now just coming right back down. We'll see what happens on a stock like Micron, right? Micron was one of the stocks that led down first and pre-announced first to the downside action. Will this one come right back down or will it get back up there towards the 58? Uh Ulta was at 125 three years ago. Yeah, I mean, that's crazy, Jay. And I think that one of those stocks that you just don't think about is really going to rip to the moon. But yeah, RAG, you got it, R-A-G. You got it, my friend. 
Uh, definitely. R.A.G., you got it. Michael Pachter is going to be joining us to talk about Netflix. Don't miss that. When are Netflix earnings? Before or after? They're after tomorrow. So it's after after hours tomorrow, Thursday. We'll see what happens there. And we'll see if Netflix was able to find some subscribers. Of course, their advertising uh, platform now. How did that do? That's going to determine a lot of Netflix. Will it take the big beating or will it climb back that wall? It's already filled the gap from that last time that they disappointed on earnings. We'll have to wait what happens now. All right, let's keep going. We'll take a look at some other stocks. Of course, Microsoft had news today letting 10,000 employees go through March 31st. This came down fast today. As you guys can see, it did a little bit of a kind of that bull trap to the upside and then really quickly right back down. We'll see what happens out there. We are not looking good here towards the close. Now down to 391.58. What are the what's the uh, closing imbalances? I have to take a look in a second. You know, I, I have to, I have so much going on. Normally I have uh, Joel to take a look at some of these stocks and give me a little bit of a window, but we'll see what happens now down to 391.66. Not what you wanted to see as you start cutting through Friday's low. Now you're cutting through Thursday low. Are we going to cut through Wednesday's low? That's 391.38. We're, we're close there. We'll see what happens. Do we fill in this gap? Next, from that 11th, we start having a gap into the 10th. That high there, 390.65. We'll see if we start coming back down into the 390s. All right, let's keep going. Tesla also pulling back today. Um, be careful out there, team. Did see this turnaround, and it was rough because it made a nice little move in the pre-market, then just washed right back down here towards the open. So we'll look to see if Tesla can recover, get right back up there. Use maybe 123 as support. We'll see. Definitely needs to continue the trend if it wants to hold this. If it gets back below, especially below that 123 and closing, I'll look for that 115 takedown. We'll see what happens there in Tesla. 2.5 billion to the sell. Ooh, not what we want to see. Not what we want to see. Coin, not a bad one to mention there, uh, Vale NYC. I appreciate you bringing that up. Um, wanted to take a look at some of the stocks that could turn around. This is one that could turn around. Had a little pop at the open. Now starting to come back down. We'll look to see if this starts breaking right back down here. And for that case, what about the Bitcoin stocks like Mara? Well, we talked about it, how quickly that turnaround could be. And there you're seeing it right back down. And you got to be careful because it could have just been January effect. that got these lifting, right? Well, I'm at least not feeling too bad about my swing trade bet here, team, as I'm just watching my equity climb here. I'm trying my best not to watch it too much, but starting to really get that GE breaking down. We'll see what happens there. DE, just to kind of point it, Deer taking another leg down, right, with the market. Market dragged a little bit more down. You saw that extension back down there. We'll see what happens there. Even the cruise lines getting off the recent run, right? Is the January effect done? I think that's what one, one thing we need to keep in mind. We'll see what happens. All right. I want to see Amazon under 94 tomorrow. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Amazon was trying for that 100. Couldn't do that 100. Now down there to 95.84. Really needs to kind of break that Friday low, that 94.12. I see you, Toronto, Dave. Can't blame you. We'll look to see if we get that turnaround right back down especially also like a stock like Apple was talking about how would this be just a rejection and it goes right back down. Similar chart like Microsoft did, right? Microsoft was working its way back. It was right here. I'll show you guys that. And it was working its way back towards the trend line. You saw it get up there to the trend line. And what happened? Rejected that trend line and really quickly came right back down towards the support. We'll see what happens there on Microsoft. If that's what's going to happen on Apple, we got to be careful in the market. All right. Now the market at 391.80s. We'll look to see if that continues. We'll see what the close is. We got about seven minutes here trying to keep running through some stocks. So you guys in the chat, throw some up there. And I'm definitely with you, Captain Kirk, going long on beer this weekend. And I would say uh, I might double leverage with the IPAs. 
but we'll see what happened there. Let's keep going. Let's take a look at what else is making moves on the day. Um, let's go to see what got hit the hardest. Instead of looking at what's up, let's look for relative weakness. I know that might sound bad there, but let's do it. On the SPY, we're going to keep with the bigger stocks, right? We're going to look to see what got hit the most. Well, United Airlines got hit the most. We got Kraft Heinz behind that. We got Carnival Cruise. They got hit hard too. Almost about 6% from the open there. And this one, CarMax, that started getting the pop back. Well, I don't feel too confident about CarMax here, especially used cars. Used cars, I think, are going to really struggle this year as their values haven't gone down as fast, but still the demand is just det deteriorating. So you got to be careful there. Interesting to see Tesla and Halliburton here. Halliburton, definitely big pullback. We'll look to see if this one can hold the pullbacks, especially towards 40. Oil stocks getting hit today a little bit. Car, interesting to see this. Carrier Global, building materials stock, pulling back fast after the recent move. And just to mention a couple other ones that I think are interesting is this Warner Brothers move, right, that had a 30% up move. We'll look to see if it just comes crashing right back down. All right, you're also seeing uh, General Mills on this really get hit hard. Looks like they came after the packaged foods today. Kraft Heinz, General Mills, big hit on the downside. Be careful, team. As those value trades fall off, what will happen? Where will the rotation go? That's what I'm trying to look for. XOM, oil stocks, right? Oil stocks got hit also today. It seems like a lot of it, and there's not much that looks like there's safety out there in the market right now. AAA going into earning support levels. Let's do that, Dano. Uh, was looking at Coa earlier in the day, and it looked bullish. It looked like it was trying to make that run. Made a nice little up move. Started pushing here towards 57.50, and then boom, back down to 53.30s. We'll see what happens on this one. Daily is pulling back. It looks like it could pull back here, let's say closer towards this 50-50 area, and then maybe find the bounce. We'll see what happens after their earnings. Let's just give their earnings preview really quickly. Let me take a look here. Uh, their earnings are expected at a loss of 75 cents for the EPS. And then when we look at estimated revenue, it's at $2.65 billion. Uh, just to kind of give you guys an outlook, last quarter, this company missed big on EPS, 353% big, and also missed on revenue, just to keep it in mind. All right, just keeping an eye on what else is making moves. Let's keep going. Uh, K also, yeah, Mondelez, yeah, Kellogg's, Mondelez, definitely got hit your your candy makers, and even the Hershey's, man. Even the Hershey's got hit. So just to kind of show you, those are value plays, right? We'll see what happens. They definitely come off. I know that uh, Dennis will definitely be talking about these moves tomorrow. I'm just glad I was able to catch one of them. We'll just see if these can continue to break down. And also, I even saw Beyond Meat kind of do a little bit of a breakdown. I don't know how the fake meat life is, but I know I ain't buying no Beyond Meat. You guys let me know. You guys getting those Beyond Meat burgers still? I know I'm not going to. All right, let's keep going. We'll take a look at what else is being mentioned. I got about three minutes left. You guys throw up tickers. We'll go through those. All right, I did see some other stocks making moves. Let's go to ARKK. Let's take a look at some of these growth names, see if anything was in the green. Looks like you got this one, TXG into the green today. So if we're looking for some kind of positive, looks like this uh, genomic stock has been doing really well. Keep your eyes on this one. It's still into the green as we speak. Beam having a decent day. Not, not the best day, right? Still trying to bounce back a little bit. Twist. These are these biotechs that have kept them strong. On Roku, Roku looked to me like a decent short also. This has been getting a little bit of a bounce back. Look how it came back to a prior uh, support. We'll look to see if this starts acting as resistance and it just rejects right back down there towards the 40s. This one doesn't look like bad uh, opportunity there. I will be watching this tomorrow, see if it keeps breaking down. All right, getting out of this one, even Roblox that had a really good pre-announcement, right? They announced their users. They got that nice little pop. Well, look today, really quickly, dropped right back down.
We'll see if maybe Sark is the move. I was talking about that today on live trading early before the move happened. Why? Because I saw monthly support right around the 44, 45 area. That's where I liked it. Today, we're bouncing off there towards 47.07. This having a decent day, starting to push back. Maybe Sark is what we should be looking at on this downturn. We'll see what happened there. All right, let's go to one last one there. NVIDIA. NVIDIA short from uh, 178. Ooh, that's a good one there. We'll see if that keeps coming down here. Meta also. Meta's been really strong, right? Daily chart. I talked about this. We filled in the gap. Would we just come right back down? Looks like we're starting to break down there. We'll see if Meta actually continues to break down and just comes right back towards, let's say, maybe first level, I would say, is this 122. Then from there, we go in towards the 115s and the 110s. We'll see what happens there in Meta. All right, that's probably going to do it for me today. I do see some extras being thrown out there. I'll touch one more here. Actually, let's, let's take a look at Shop and, and Bank of America. Uh, that's not a bad one to look at. Let's go to Shop really quickly. Shop didn't partake in so much of the run, and so it wasn't that bad to see it a little bit strong today, earlier in the day. But as you can see on the close, Still not coming back here. So I think this one's going to be a little bit of some time before we actually get back the value we expect. I like shop. I like the chart. I like the name. I just going to more along going to be uh, patient as we really still haven't broken out above, let's say the 42s and 45s. And even if I miss it, let's say if I miss it and I'm only able to get into like the 43s from 39. That's not going to be much difference. So we'll see what happens here in Shopify. Like the story, just going to wait on the technicals to maybe get my timing a little bit better. Bank of America pulling back fast here. We'll see what happens on those names. Morgan Stanley, could it stay into the green? It stayed in the green right now, but you got to be careful, especially as you're seeing stocks like Goldman Sachs come right back down, right? Well, it's not being able to hold that rip. JPM. Started breaking down today. We'll see what happens on a name like this. Even though this one has been really strong, got a nice up move on the earnings. Now starting to pull back. Bank of America, 3360s as support is what I see. If that breaks and you're back down, closing towards 3350s, you easily could go back down towards the 33s. And from there, why not 32s? The low on the year, back down there below the 32s in the 31s towards 31.35. All right, that's going to do it for me today. Stop the clock. It's time to go ahead and end it. Yeah, and Meta seemed like an interesting opportunity. Like always, these are dangerous, dangerous whenever you're shorting really strong stocks, right? Not too many shorts were probably jumping in there in the last couple of days as we continued higher, 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 higher. And then, of course, boom, knockdown. But one thing to mention, though, it was really interesting to see the SPY go up to that 400, reject it multiple times. I was talking about it in live trading that it seemed like we had someone profit taking right around that level. And every time we came to it, boom, knocked down right back down. Today, finally seeing that knockdown happen. I think that, you know, it could have been a bigger trader taking some profits. Can't blame you on that outlook if you were taking profits up there towards 400. I mean, it's been a good run in the spot now, right? We're right back down to 392.40s, almost taking out that Thursday, almost taking out that 391.30s. Uh, so definitely not what you wanted to see there for the close. Spy coming down fast. Not what we wanted to see if you were the bull. But now the bears seem like they're back in control. And trust me, they're coming out the cave. I feel it. I'm even like, man. That was a harder takedown than I thought we would get today, and it just went whew, right back down. All right, team, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Take care. Like always, keep battling to keep improvement. Don't miss the Netflix earnings call tomorrow. And like always, catch out all our shows right here on Benzinga. Hit the thumbs up. We'll see you guys tomorrow on pre-market prep. Like always, going to keep building and trying to bring more to you guys and if you haven't done so already, I think I've mentioned it probably at least 20 times, but join the book club. You guys won't miss it. And I'll tell you right now, if there's any way that I want to give back value this year to you guys, the members of our community, 
It's going to be with, of course, the book club. I hope that you guys are there. I'll give up the link one more time for you guys to jump in, and we'll see you guys a little bit later. There was a great interview on Stock Market Movers. Of course, Thomas Hayes from Great Hill Capital. If you guys missed that, definitely check it out. That was on Stock Market Movers. Really good interview. Hope you guys were able to catch that. If you guys weren't able to catch it, go ahead and check out Stock Market Movers. I'll give you guys even the link here to make this easier. I'm going to actually go ahead and just throw it up here. All right, there you guys have it. The link there for you guys can check out Stock Market Movers. And if you want, fast forward to the interview. Catch what Thomas Hayes had to say. He's big on China stocks. What opportunities does he see? He talked about how short-term pullback, potentially long-term opportunity. Find out in that interview. You guys click the link. We'll see you guys a little bit later. Pre-market prep tomorrow. Don't miss it. I'm sure Dennis Dick will be all fired up, ready to talk about the market. We'll see you guys next time.